Hi there. Now in this part we're given that 2r plus 1 all cubed is equal to ar cubed plus br squared plus cr plus 1. And we've got two parts here. Part A we've got to find the values of the constants a, b and c. And then in part b show that 2r plus 1 all cubed minus 2r minus 1 all cubed is equal to 24r squared plus 2. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. OK, so for part A, what I'm going to do is just take 2r plus 1 all cubed. OK, and we're going to expand this out. I'm going to say it's identical to rather than equals because I believe we're dealing with an identity, not an equation. So we use the binomial expansion to do this. The coefficients, if we use Pascal's triangle for instance, okay, are going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. So we're going to have one lot of 2r all to the power 3. And then we're going to have 1 here to the power 0. And then plus, then you're going to have this coefficient, 3 multiplied by 2r to the power 2 and then you've got 1 to the power 1 not that this really matters here it's always going to be 1 but I'm just putting it in as a token really and then plus then we've got this 3 next reduce the power on 2r so it's now 2r to the power 1 increase that by another power so that's 1 squared and then lastly we've got 1 times 2r to the power 0 and then 1 to the power 3. OK, now if you tidy this up, you end up with 8r cubed for the first term. Second term then is 12r squared and then you get 6r and then finally plus 1. And so I'm going to say that this is identical then to ar cubed plus br squared plus cr plus 1 where clearly a then is equal to 8 b is equal to 12 c is equal to 6 okay now in part b we've got to show that 2r plus 1 all cubed then minus 2r minus 1 all cubed is equal to 24r squared plus 2. So what I'll do is I'll just put down an introduction then which is 2r plus 1 all cubed minus 2r minus 1 all cubed. I'm going to write identical to again. Well for this first one here we've seen that it's identical to this so we'll just copy that in as 8r cubed plus 12r squared plus 6r plus 1. And from this we need to subtract what we get when we do much the same kind of thing again. There's no need to really work this all out in a long way like this because all that's going to happen is that wherever we had this 1 here it's now going to be replaced with minus 1. So we're going to get this first term is still going to be 8r cubed. So just put that one in. But when it comes to this second term, this will be minus 1 here. So you're just going to end up with the negative 12r squared. So negative 12r squared. And it's going to oscillate in sign here because this will be minus 1 all squared, which is positive. So you're going to get plus 6r. And then this last term is going to be minus 1 all cubed here. So it's going to make that negative 1. OK. Now cleaning this up. We can see we get 8r cubed here minus 8r cubed, so that goes 12r squared plus another 12r squared, well that's 24r squared. And then you've got 6r minus 6r, that disappears, and you've got 1 minus minus 1, so that's going to be plus 2. Okay.